Hey everybody, I'm Delicia and thanks for stopping by the Cigar Vixen channel. So I did a post the other day on Instagram asking um, all of you that follow me on Instagram which cigar you'd like to see me review first out of the really cool a uh, package that I received from Drew Estate, part of their summer takeover um, kind of launch, if you will. And before I get into which cigar I'm actually gonna review, I want to show kind of what, um, what was part of that. And I just realized that I forgot um, one of the bigger uh, items. So actually, um, let me grab that real quick. First of all, there's these um, little packs here, this little media pack that has eight cigars in it. And I'll show you, because I've already opened one, what uh, cigars are in there. So we have the um, Acid 20. This was um, launched last year during IPCPR. And so this is the um, Acid 20 in the Toro format. And then there's two of these Tabac especial one dulce and one maduro and those are both in a beautiful lonsdale and then we have these two babies which i love um, this is the botl and the lovely lancero and then the herrera esteli the edición limitada which is a phenomenal cigar so i'm really excited to to smoke both of those actually that botl cigar is just excellent and then we have the um the, the shady Undercrown. This one is actually, let's see. I apologize. I should know these more, but we have the, this is not listed on there. This is the shady. It says shady XX, uh, undercrown. And then this is the undercrown dogma. This is a cigar dojo, uh, commemorative edition. So, um, if you're not familiar with cigar dojo, you should definitely check out his site. He's really awesome. His team is, um, they just have a really unique approach and a pretty, sweet setup on their online platform so that's cigar dojo as well as this lovely leather rose which joins the deadwood um, tobacco series and i'm really excited about this one i love this particular line um, especially because of the beautiful bands and the artwork behind it i'm a huge fan of all anything dia de los muertos or day of the dead so they always have like the sugar skull on all the different bands which i absolutely love and this is the newest addition to that so um i did a post as i mentioned and i asked you know my instagram viewers uh, or followers rather um you know which cigar should i review first and the vote was for the leather rose so i'm going to be reviewing the leather rose um, but i also want to show this gorgeous ashtray and this is, um, this is just really cool. Their artwork at the Drew Estate Factory, um, I've said it several times, I've kind of shown clips in different videos. Um, I've been there a few times and it just, it blows me away every time. I mean, it's gorgeous, gorgeous artwork all over the place. There's subculture studios and everything um, that they just create, you know, they've expanded, um, back in the day, it was just pretty much around the factory and the boxes. And now they've gone into ashtrays. I've seen shoes. I've seen, um, you know, the beautiful water towers that were uh, done with the acid launch last year. There's just so much with the artwork aspect that it's really, really cool. And then, um, last but not least, there was this box of the year of the rat 2020. And these are really cool. I'm surprised that more people didn't vote for this, but look at this awesome box here, which I will get into these and I'll probably, um, you know, maybe, maybe you guys can chime in on the comments out as to which cigars out of here you'd like to see reviewed. Um, these are really cool. So you have the Ratzilla, the Velvet Rat, Year of the Rat, the Dirty Rat, and then the Kentucky Fire Cured um, Muwat, which I've done I've done a review of that one, but um, these are very cool and I love the box and just very thoughtful. And um, especially in these crazy times, it's, I've mentioned it before, it's really nice to get, um, you know, anything sent to you and just have a reason to light something up different than the humidor. So I'm gonna get into the leather rose. I mentioned briefly that this is um, in addition to the uh, Deadwood Ladies, if you will. There are three others. You guys are probably familiar with Deadwood Tobacco. I've talked about them and I have done a review. Actually, I think it was of the Sweet Jane or Fat Bottom Betty, one of the two. So there's the Fat Bottom Betty, there's Crazy Alice, and then there's the, um, the Sweet Jane which happens to be, I think Sweet Jane is the redhead, I believe, and I like that one a lot. So this is gorgeous. Leather Rose has the, you know, the deep reds in the background, the spider web, and then again, of course, the whole um, 
kind of the Day of the Dead sugar skull look to the girl. So I just love, 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 love the artwork. Um, this one is a little torpedo. It's a five by 54 torpedo. And it's, um, what they say about it is it's supposed to be kind of like the spiciest or the most, you know, I kind of like the undescriptive word of oomph. <laughs> <laughs> as the we'll see it's supposed to be like the you know the oomph to the whole line so we'll see what that smokes like but again this is a i don't know flavored infused aromatic um, it's a very sweet cigar in other words without smoking it i can tell you it's going to fall right in line to that i mean it smell it reminds me of pipe tobacco it has that really nice uh, aroma that just gets your attention right away like stepping into like an old school smoke shop that had more of the pipe tobacco feel to it um that's kind of what it what it reminds me of so i'm going to remove the little ribbon foot band here and light it up and then this one does have a maduro wrapper in it this was the only part of the factory when i was there um all the times that i've been there they don't really show how these are made um, it's kind of like a little secret because um, you know of course there's a lot of other companies that do flavored type or infused you know cigars and so I think it's kind of a trade secret how they're done everybody does theirs a little bit different but um, yeah anyway I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up here Ooh, that's very sweet um, but nice it's kind of a It immediately hits you with the sweet, just even just putting your lips on the on the head of the cigar. But you also get a little bit of a spiciness uh, kind of hanging out there after the fact, which is interesting. So we'll see what that uh, what that smokes like. Hmm. Oh, and also, so this is a cigar that if you're not normally in the, you know, as I said before, in the flavored, aromatic, infused, any of that type of extra sweet cigar, if that's not your particular cup of tea, um, I still urge you to give it a shot, you know? Once in a while, it's cool to step outside your comfort zone. I definitely would not recommend smoking this first and then going to you know a a uh, just a regular traditional type of cigar because it's gonna stay on your palate for a little while this is more of a standalone kind of a smoking experience you could certainly smoke a more traditional cigar prior you know like in the morning and then maybe try this one out later on in the day but i wouldn't do it vice versa i would give it i'd give it a day unless you're just you know you're not really interested in you know how the the flavors may alter one another it's not a big deal but if you're a kind of a, um, a flavor nerd <laughs> then you might want to just hold out and smoke this one on its own you know a, a time when you're not smoking multiple cigars throughout the day or as i mentioned um, make this one maybe like your last cigar of the day kind of a thing Yep, so sweet, <laughs> right away sweet. Um, and there it is, there's that little spice kind of on the finish, but uh, the sweetness is, it's, it's a candied chocolatey type of sweetness. There's, um, there's a little bit of vanilla pipe tobacco. I mean, it just, that's what I would imagine smoking. I don't smoke pipes, but um, if I did, that's what I would picture it to kind of taste like. But it, it certainly has the aroma of a quote unquote, you know, pipe type of tobacco feel to it. It has um, a nice, almost a brownie like sweetness, a little bit of a, you know, brown sugar or caramelized type of sugar. There's that little dab of vanilla kind of in the background and then little 
Now it's a little bit more faint, taking a puff or two into it of just a slight spice kind of on the finish. But you can still taste the, the filler being um, a little bit more of just a, a tobacco, a straight tobacco flavor, um, if you will. It, it's not very strong. I mean, you can, the, the sweetness definitely is what you taste the most of, but you, you can get a little sense of just a, a more of a little bit more of a tobacco, earthier kind of feel to it, just slightly. The aroma is really nice. It has a little bit of a, a kind of a mint chocolate um, aroma to it. Um, there's something else that's reminding me of, and I can't pinpoint it yet, but I'll, I'll keep trying to search for it. Really nice. Um, again, different than for those of us who don't smoke a lot of the infused or flavored or super sweet cigars. It's certainly a different um, experience, but it's, um, it's nice. And I know there's a huge, huge audience for this, the sweeter infused um, types of cigars. And these, I would have to say, I'd put these on the top of, if I was only smoking, you know, the sweeter infused aromatic type of, of cigars, these would be on, on the top of my list um, because they're, they're still, they still have a cigar, traditional cigar feel to them, just very sweet, um, but nice. You know, it's enjoyable. It's not, it's not, um, I've had some that were, um, you know, other brands that were a little more kind of a, almost a chemically uh, air freshener type of um, something. And these are not that way. You can still taste the tobacco if you search for it. And it's just um, kind of covered in sweetness, you know, dipped in sweetness, if you will. So I'm gonna smoke it down a little bit more and I'll check back in probably around the halfway point or so to see what other flavors have been introduced. All right, so returning for the, kind of like the halfway point, maybe slightly past the halfway point, or it's hard to tell, of the Leather Rose, which is the newest addition to the Deadwood Ladies. And um, it's smoking nice. You know, there's not a ton of flavor change from the first bit to um, the second part, but um, again, just love, love, love this band. It's so nice. Beautiful artwork on that. Um, Flavors are still uh, predominantly sweet. <laughs> um, there is still, you can, if you, if you really search for it, you can taste the actual, you know, true tobacco sense in more of the, of an earthier form. It's subtle, but it's there. Um, I'm still getting kind of like that brownie type of chocolatey sweetness uh, with a kind of a hint of I don't know, something a little fresher, some, reminding me kind of like mint chip, but not super strong on the minty, just kind of like a little subtle hint of it, but um, really nice. There hasn't been a lot of spice. There, there is some that you pick up more on the finish after you kind of get past the sweetness of it. But again, this is, um, for me, this isn't a cigar I would smoke every day, but it is a cigar that from time to time, it's nice to kind of, introduce a little change of pace to things. I would definitely put this with, um, well, with my Jefe blend, the espresso, I would pull like a dopio shot and just sip on that without any sugar or anything. This is sweet enough. It's kind of like if you have a piece of uh, chocolate cake, it's nice to have, um, some people would maybe just have a glass of milk. I would have it with coffee, just black coffee, or again, more um, of a concentrated coffee. So an espresso, um, this would pair really nice with that because of the fact that it's so sweet. And you, if, you, if you're an espresso drinker, you know, that nice bitter kind of straight um, coffee feel uh, paired up nicely with the sweet cigar would be um, kind of a nice after dinner treat actually. Um, so I would, I would certainly, do that type of a pairing with this particular cigar. But again, it's not, 
it's not for for me anyways it's not an everyday smoke but it's still one that is enjoyable and i'm just kind of taking my time and getting through the flavor it's smoking really nice and um, the construction is just fine burn line is good and i'm gonna i'll smoke it down a little bit more and just to see if there's anything else that changes you know in the last little bit here and i'll check back in one more time All right, so back for the final little bit on the Leather Rose, part of the, or the newest member, I should say, to the Deadwood Ladies uh, series. <laughs> um, it smokes really well, you know, uh, no problem whatsoever on the draw, on the construction, um, produces a really nice, abundant amount of smoke and very aromatic, um, reminiscent of kind of a more of a pipe tobacco feel to it. It has a definite sweetness. Towards this last little bit though, it's actually picked up some spice slightly. Not a lot, not enough to make it a, um, you know, overly spicy cigar, just enough to keep it interesting. Prior to this, the, the flavors haven't, hadn't really changed too much. Um, I can also pick up kind of a vintagey leathery feel. So I don't know if that was the any part of the naming of it, but I definitely can, can point out some leather, um, but still has that nice sweetness to it. Um, and then that little bit of that spicier, kind of hard to pinpoint the spice. It's more of a sensation than a flavor, but it's notable and especially towards this last little bit. But again, um, I mentioned it on the last, um, the, the last check-in that I did. Um, it's not a cigar I would smoke every day. However, it is a nice change and it's certainly something that's interesting. It provides a lot of flavor. I can see this going best with an espresso or just a black coffee uh, to kind of offset some of the sweetness, but it's not, it's definitely not an overly sweet cigar. There, there are some of those out there to me that I find like, I can't, I can't smoke them. They're just like way too sweet. This one has a nice little bit of a balance to it. Um, and again, it's a nice change up for those of us who aren't regular flavored or infused or aromatic cigar smokers. It's just, um, it's just something different and it's a nice change up. So I liked it. I would see myself smoking it again. And I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've seen it. Obviously, those of you who follow me on Instagram wanted to see a review of it, so I hope I did it justice. And I hope that, you know, if you have smoked it or you're planning on smoking it, I'd love to read your comments. You know, what did you think of it comparing it to the other three if you've smoked all the others in the Deadwood series? Um, you know, what were your thoughts? So I like this one probably, I don't wanna, I haven't smoked it enough yet to say I liked it the best and I'd have to revisit the other three, but it certainly is uh, good. I, I enjoyed it. So again, thanks for hanging out for a little while with me and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. See you soon. Cheers. <laughs>